It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey everybody, welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. With me, oh, uh, you know him, Shaquille O'Neal. You know this guy too, Kenny the Jet Smith. And tonight, it'll be the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Sacramento Kings. And guys, for the Kings, only one win in their last six games. They know they can play much better. Looking to be more competitive tonight. And tonight, we get to see DeAndre Jordan. Kenny's come a long way since being drafted in the second round back in 08. Man, I can't believe he's been in the league over a decade. That's amazing. Either you're getting old, K-Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. from three-point range. 
of the key. And there's the pass to Ray. Six on the shot clock. On deep. Sinks the three-pointer. Smith's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And, and so assured. Can't give an inch of breathing room. to Barnes. Here's primetime, covered by Heal. Here's Smith. His second shot goes in, off to a good start, two for two. Working on his interior game, Smith Jr. is very aware he has what it takes to score from there. Pass to Mason. Sacramento moving it around. Out to Turner. Wide open. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. No one near him. Now the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Oh, great ball movement there. The Kings trail by nine. Outside Turner. Passes to Mason. There's the free commando. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. Heel's got five. Heel is 
hand to look here at the passing numbers over the last several months for him. One aspect of his game that's suffered the past few months has been his passing. He hasn't shown that same creativity with the basketball that we've seen from him earlier in the season, and his assists are way down because of it. Here's prime time. Playing Portland, he was nearly unstoppable. When it came to a big man's responsibilities, you helped pave the way for so much change in that regard. But some of the big C Web now doing that weren't done when you were playing. I don't know, Kevin, if it was anything that they weren't doing, but it's the freedom to do it with consistency. So even if we talk about a Larry Bird, who only can shoot maybe a three and a half a game, let's just round it up to two threes a game. Well, now, what is Larry Bird? His last outing, he had eight points. Outside, Bogdanovich. He kicks it to a Olenek. Mavericks with the rebound. Measure, he's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. This is a Duray. Goes up. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Times got 23. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Mason against Perea. Mason kicks to Olenek. Over to Bits. And the basket by Olenek. Olenek got his first pass. Our gifted score around the shoulder and he's got great touch and so it's Dallas sitting on a 21 point lead to end the quarter their defense has been terrific in this game and don't go away we'll be right back him to Dallas in the first place. They showed the most faith in me. You know, they weren't scared off by the end. Coming off that Achilles injury in Portland, Dallas wasn't shy offering him, Greg, that big contract. And he's now in a contract year. We'll see if he continues to be a part of their long-term plans. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a comfortable margin for the Mavericks here, guys. Uh, listen, early on taking the league, I just like their approach offensively. Yeah, right. Only the first quarter. Don't over panic, but it seems like their strategy is working. We'll see if the other side can come. On the court for Dallas here in the second, we've got Matthews. Measure is out there with Dwight Powell. And there's J.J. Barea, and it's Bray in at the two. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, prime time in the last game against the Trailblazers got the job done. He finished with 51 points and ran the team as always with a big number of assists. His numbers were off the charts. He was unguardable, and he knew it. He took advantage of it. Kevin, back to you. David, appreciate the report. He was a one-man show in that game. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how much that took out of him. I mean, he'll have a hard time putting up anything even close to those numbers here tonight. I mean, well, it should have taken all the energy out of him. It should have taken something out of him, Greg. I mean, he pushed the envelope in every way that night. He was unreal. Now, here's 
Bruce Kufus. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Uh, I like the decision. Like that. That's a shot you want to keep taking. And it's Berea with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. And Matthews kicks to Berea. Here's Kleba. It's good. Great play set up by Berea. Three. Coach Dave Yeager never missed the playoffs as head coach in Memphis. Chris, is it tough to go from that kind of success to a team now in rebuild mode? Uh, you bet it is. I mean, it's a different challenge to build something for that crowd. It takes a lot of patience. Even when the wins are few. And since he's wide open, he's got time to add a little style to the favorite. Pass to Ray. Back to Berea. Here's Kleba. Defended by Kufus. And goes to Kufus. That's his first foul. Sacramento making a switch here. Heels checked in. And then for Dallas. Hodges. Former number two pick out of Ohio State. You know, he acts as a utility knight for this team. He can wear a lot of different hats. His versatility might be his best trait. On the free throw, no good. And with Turner, as you mentioned, Greg, he can play both wing spots and does whatever you need from him on offense. Well, you like what he's playing in the post and, and bullying small wings. Much better from that area of the floor than from outside. He also can act as a playmaker. He's very adept at running the pick and roll. You know, see, we have every player wants to play in a system where what they do best is always highlighted. It brings out their strong toots. What are some of the plays or actions that best suited your skills when you play? One of the things that I needed was a great point guard. So whether it was Rod Strickland, whether it was Avery Johnson and Golden State, of course my man Jay Will. And that was guys that could get me the ball, that would trust, that would throw it up. Also, then that I could handle the ball, draw a double team, and get it out to them, and they could knock down the shot. Having a great shooter like Apasia would allow me to grab a double team and look for him on the opposite side. So I knew the teams that had great ball movement, that had players that could knock down the open shot, and then a team that could run would allow me to push the break or allow me to fill in the break and kind of do everything. Teams that would allow me to be positionless and not just be rigid or old in their ways and say, you play old traditional basketball that doesn't allow anyone to flourish with what they've been working on in the offseason. Here is Mason. He's got seven. Linick up top. Berea against Mason. Got a piece of it. And they get it back. They got him on the arm, but it's still clean. And they got away from the inside game. This quarter. Wow. It was working well for them in the first. They should get back to that game plan. Work it inside and punish the D down low. Close to Goofus. Some call him 2K. Over 10 years now. Hard to believe of NBA experience. Wow, he's a quality player out of Greece. I mean, a quality role player. He knows his role. He's a good player. Finishing five. Pass to Mason. The Mavericks pull it in. Mesri's got his sixth rebound on the night. Ray, he gets that one. Prime time's got 30. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Sacramento's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. There's 117 left now here in the second. He's in against Moran. Shot clock at five. Mason. He's got seven. Good work defensively by Nowitzki. And another one falls. Amazing. We're bearing witness to one of the great scoring seasons of all time. Greg, he's delivering night in and night out. Great games and nearing third all time for scoring in a season. And guys, don't look now, but Michael Jordan's scoring mark from 1987 is 
in his sight. Here's Heal, following the score by Dallas. Off the run, Mejri with the rebound. Mejri's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. From the arc, another three for Dallas. And they've just been so comfortable at both ends of the floor. I mean, you'd almost think they're playing at home. Well, you hear that? No, you don't hear anything. They silence the crowd with this big lead. No sign that they're letting up. And Olenek kicks to heel. There's the pass to Bialica. He takes it into the teeth of the knee and converts the way up. I like seeing Hill share the ball. How great instincts on offense. He finds guys well. No good from Ray. Mason with it. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. And here we go. And he is good at the buzzer. Wow. And they make sure to get the last shot of the quarter there. Nicely done. Get their clock running out. They stay poised and get the shot off just in time. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. Mavericks ahead. Just dominating this one. And a chest shot is good. David, and we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this team to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Really an incredible game from prime time. Yeah, the kind of leadership he provides, the pinpoint passing, we saw it all there on display in that first half. Well, as a finisher, you expect to play in that kind of environment. Now that you know you can get the ball in the time. Inside, and Zebo and Cauley Stott. Buddy Heald is out there with Mason. And it's Turner in at the small hole. That's a five to begin the second half for Dave Yeager. Well, when you think of Cauley Stott, the word left comes to mind. A huge target on offense and a tenacious shot blocker and rebounder on the defensive end. Sinks it in the shot from Ray. Primetime's got 37. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Turner finds Randolph. Over Barnes. Nice shot by Randolph. Randolph's got his third basket of the night right there. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up to the Mavericks. Here's Primetime. Another one falls. His offensive arsenal has been on full display all season long. Mm -hmm, you're right. Now tied for third place. Points in a single season. And, and fellas, he's tied with none other than the great Michael Jordan. And he is not done yet. Down to five on the shot clock. Deal with the bucket. Time covered by and again all season long he has been absolutely dominant the scoring doesn't end with him yeah he's already left his mark on history moving into third place for most points in a season amazing and can you believe he has passed michael short the third most points in a season it's rare you ever see his airness get passed on any list even as the team rebuilds, business booming for the Kings, Chris, ticket sales, sponsorships, you name it. Well, the fans are doing their part to make this team. You can bet that. Randolph kicks to Turner. Here's Mason. Hits the jumper in space. Mason's got nine points. They're doing work here the second half. Three or four to start. for three and he nails the three nice shot from beyond the arc there from Ray three points prime time's got 44 for Sacramento they've gone three of five to start the second half developing a nice timeout now a timeout called by Sacramento yeah he, he's got to make some adjustments here just too easy to score in the lane against them right now well, well I think the first thing they need to talk about is rotation is a lot of miscommunication over there Chance to now check out 
the scoring distribution between the front court and the back court players tonight for the Mavericks. And their guards have been the difference makers. This lead wouldn't be nearly as big as it is if it wasn't for that back court. But those guys have been running wild. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one is on heel for Dallas. They have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. Sacramento's gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Mason against Smith. Heel from outside. It's rebounded by Dallas. Jordan's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And it's good for two. This is fun. Nine points in the game so far. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And Turner kicks to Randall. That's a two from Heel. Sacramento again missing. He's got to find better looks. He's never going to pull out his compass here tonight. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Bogdanovich is checked in for heel. For Dallas, they have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. Sacramento's gone 1 of 2 from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Now Mason, 9 points in the game so far. Back to Randall. Back in off the glass. Randolph's got four in this quarter. Right in his wheelhouse. Randolph putting in work in the paint. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, the Kings signed some quality vets last season, but when the losses piled up, they decided to go young. Now, the focus is on development. The veterans still have a role, providing steady presence on the court and in the locker room. Kevin? David, it certainly is a balancing act. Thanks for that report. For Sacramento, they've gone a somewhat so far 4-10 on their shots in the second half so far. They send the pass to turn to the paint. Holly stop. That one's not going to go. Jordan with some nice deep and even three-on-three -three break. No good from Ray. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Well, not all defenses are constructed to protect the mid-range area. Nice to done that time. I like to see them getting the ball down low and then getting a the quality shot. It's up a three. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. Prime time's got 54 points. Knocks down his second three of the half. I mean, he had two of them in the first half also. Doing some solid work from deep. Down low. Holly Stein passes to Mason. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. He's one of the guys having a solid game for them. But as a whole, they've been... Smith's shot is good. Smith's got 10 points. A physical player. Even when you hit Smith Jr., he doesn't blink. Wills those shots in. Oh, man, such an athletic seven-foot Willie Cauley style. Now, look, he's improving his game. He fits that prototype of a the shot blocker. He finishes around the rim. Dallas has gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Smith, the best to ring. Out to Smith. Dallas moving it around. And the rejection by Coley Stein. Sure is beware. Coley Stein is very crafty in how he rises up to the block. So good at catching scores off guard with his wide reach. And Chris, for Coley Stein, just how good do you think he can become? I think he can become very good. He's got to show more improvement offensively, but that just takes work over the summer. Oh Smith against Mason, to the middle, Randolph can't hit, Dallas has gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this team, Randolph, they're getting theirs before the defense can set up, now that's just the aggressiveness of transition, making sure they come away with points, and though some were skeptical of the contract, Harrison Barnes, Four seconds left in the third quarter. Here's 
Kleba. Defended by Kufus. Matthews passes to Kleba. Kufus grabs the miss. Kufus has got six rebounds in the game. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a drop. That was a sensational feed. He hit him right on the move. There's 25 seconds left to play in the third. On deep. It doesn't go for him. Sacramento's gone six and twelve from outside. A very nice percent mark. Shooting the three ball well. No doubt that Buddy Hill can shoot with the best of. Let's encourage him watching him share the wealth as well. Here's Ray. Dallas, no good that time either. Yeah, that's just poor decision making. He's got to be better in those situations. I'd love to hear his explanation of coach right there. I mean, that should be an interesting conversation. And so it's Dallas. Way out in front. Their lead at 38 points as we close out the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Right back after this break. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Makes it a tough play to defend because you also have to guard against him taking it himself. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. On the court for the Mavericks. They've got Levitsky. J.J. Barea is out there at prime time. And it's Kleba in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And Maxi Kleba is going to pick up a foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Before last season, the NBA voted to restructure the lottery odds. You have to think that changes will promote you know, better competition. Or even odds for the bottom five teams. But that's the way that it should be. And uh, get a little bit of help that they're needed. Uh, and, and I do think that it promotes uh, better competition. So I'm definitely happy with the way the NBA restructured the lottery odds. Perea against Heel. Perea kicks to Davitsky. It's good. Great play set up by Perea. Perea's got six assists in the game. Now here's McLemore. He's covered by Ray. This year, dishes to McLemore. On the wing, Heel. Just five to shoot. On the three off target. Dallas has gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. No good from Ray. Sacramento's gone six of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Heald kicks to Jackson. He's got four points now in the quarter. Uh, you know there's no way that's going to get blocked. He just has to rise up and drink. McLemore, no good. Some tough D in the paint. Get between him and the bucket and stop him the easy. Here's Kleba, defended by Kufus. Perea looking over the floor. Can't hit from 12. The Kings have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Heald kicks. 
Here's the Jets. And here's Kufus. Heeled right side. Sacramento moving it around. And it's sent back by Nowitzki. And he makes good on the way. Nice understanding of where to go with the pass there. And for Sacramento, they're shooting 39% from the floor. Off their best. And stolen by Nowitzki. And the best to Ray. A tray. And good! There's another! And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. And the foul on Dorian Finney Smith. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the man. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly better team in just about every single category. And reaching an impressive milestone on the year, this will be win number 60. And guys, they have played so well this season, I think pretty much any given night, they've come in with uh, that swagger and attitude, and they've really backed it up. And in a three-game season series, they take the first two, and certainly they've had the edge in this matchup. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for prime time. Those defenders shaking their heads. Every time they thought they had a handle, just like that, he go off another tip. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here to come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight. Says I think Greg an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance 